Let's take a look at how to use this calculator when we're dealing with fractions, okay? So you're really going to get your money's worth right now. If you have a fraction like 5 over 10 that is not simplified, and you punch it into the calculator, you are going to get back the simplified version. And the button we use for fractions is called the ABC button, okay? And it's right here. All right, ABC easy as one two three so to type in five over ten what we're gonna do is we're gonna press five ABC ten and then we're gonna hit equals five ABC ten equals and it automatically reduces this fraction for you it's gonna give you back one half okay we know that that's true we know five out of every ten is the same as one out of every two. So go ahead and you try it. Try it right here, 16 over 32. We know that that should also give us one half. Go ahead and put it into the calculator and see what you get. All right, I'm gonna put in 16, ABC, 32, equals, and you should also get one half. Okay, the calculator can add fractions for you also. It can operate with fractions. It can add, it can subtract, it can multiply. Let's go ahead and add. So when we look at this, it's one half plus one half, and we know that if you take a half plus another half, you should get a whole. But to use the calculator, we're going to hit 1 ABC2 plus 1 ABC2 equals, and you should get 1. Okay, so 1 ABC2 plus 1 ABC2. Hit the equals, and it should give you back 1. Now, it's much more helpful for fractions like this that we don't know just by looking at them what the answer is going to be. One half plus one third. So why don't you pause the video, plug in one half plus one third, and see what you get. One ABC two plus one ABC3 equals and you should get 5 over 6. Now let's see what happens when we subtract and I picked these fractions on purpose because this is 3 over 7 minus 4 over 7. So I am subtracting more than I start with. So I should end up with a negative number. So let's go ahead and let's plug them in. We're going to type in 3 ABC 7 minus 4 ABC 7 equals. And you should get a negative 1 over 7. Now when you add two fractions, that give you an unsimplified fraction, the calculator is automatically going to simplify it for you. So you know that if you have 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8, you're going to get 4 over 8. And you also know that 4 over 8 is also 1 half. So let's plug it into the calculator and let's see what happens. We're going to type in 1 ABC 8 plus... 3 ABC 8 and then hit equals and now the calculator is not going to stop at 4 eighths it's going to go straight to your answer which is 1 mm -hmm. half so the calculator always gives you back a simplified fraction now there's one other important feature when you're talking about fractions sometimes your fractions are greater than 1 Okay, and a fraction that is 1 or greater is called an improper fraction. All right, and that's if you see something like 12 over 11. 
right? The numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. And it can be written as an improper fraction or a mixed number. And in this class, we're not going to use mixed numbers. So let's look at this right here, 9 over 10 plus 8 over 10. Now, you know if you add it up, you should get 17 over 10. But look at what happens when you put it into the calculator. Okay, go ahead and try it. We're going to do 9 over 10. So let's see, 9 ABC 10 plus 8 ABC 10 equals. And that gives me something that looks like this. And what this is, it's a mixed number. Okay, the calculator writes it like that, but this is really 1 and 7 tenths. So if you know how to go from a mixed number back to an improper fraction, that's great, but the calculator will do it for us. And in order to do that, we need to look above the ABC button. And when you look right above it, you're going to see this. You're going to see ABC to D over E. It's right here on the calculator. And what that does, it goes from your mixed number to your improper fraction. Now, it's above the button. It's not on the button. So to engage anything above the button, see how it's in like a light blue on my calculator? You're going to have to hit this second key, okay, which is also light blue. So there's your clue. So when you type in 9 over 10 plus 8 over 10 and you hit equals, your calculator gives you 1 and 7 tenths. Right after that, you're going to hit second ABC equals, and it is going to go to 17 over 10. You can once again hit second ABC equals, and it will go back to 1 and 7 tenths. And you can do this on and on and on till the break of dawn. So let's see it all together. You ready? Get your calculator ready. First, let's type in 9 over 10. 9 ABC 10 plus now let's type in 8 over 10 8 ABC 10 and hit your equals okay so it gets us here it gets us to 1 and 7 tenths now don't don't press anything yet now we're gonna hit leave it up there we're gonna hit second ABC second ABC and what it says it says a N S. It's taking your answer and it's doing the A B C to D over E. Okay, A N S means taking your previous answer. Hit equals and you'll see 17 over 10. And then what you can do is you can go second A B C equals. 1 and 7 tenths. Second, ABC equals 17 over 10. Second, ABC equals 1 and 7 tenths. Second, ABC equals 17 over 10. Okay, so we're always going to leave our answer as a fraction, an improper fraction. We're not going to leave our answer as a mixed number.